quit playing around and hit that like and subscribe button right now. What up everyone, we're gonna break down another controversial fight. This week, last week we did De La Hoya versus Trinidad, and then now we're gonna do Canelo versus Laura. We're gonna do break this down. A lot of people said it was controversial because they thought Canelo won comfortably. A lot of people felt Laura won comfortably. A lot of people thought Canelo won close. Many people thought Laura won close. It was a very high controversial fight. And last week when I did my uh, De La Hoya Trinidad, there was a lot of people in the comments arguing back and forth, bringing this fight up and saying who they thought won and were giving reasons. So I thought, why not jump into this next one? I saw everyone else's comments as far as what fights they were, they want to break down. I will break down. Don't worry, even though we're not doing it today, I promise you guys down the week, or down as more, we do more and more of these, I will break down your fights. And like I said, feel free to drop in the comments another fight you want me to break down that was highly controversial highly controversial so all right guys so i want you guys to score keep track of scores with me leave in the comments who you thought won this fight by how many rounds and tell me why they you thought they won and we're gonna go round by round we're gonna break it down and like always each round i'm gonna afterwards i'm gonna tell you who i thought won give the score and explain why and then at the end of the fight i'll break down even more why i thought someone won the fight and even if they won i'll break down why give my thoughts on it. All right, guys, so let's go. Let's have fun and check this fight out. All right, round one begins. Both guys starting off in the middle of the ring. Both Laura pulling with the jab. Canelo fading. So far, both guys are trying to feel each other out. Let's see what the other one has. Good jab from Canelo. Good jab from Laura and Canelo trying to counter back. Laura's beginning the footwork using the ring to move around. Con Laura sneaked in the left hand, good left hand. Canelo was catching that jab. So La Laura, as we can see, he's gonna be the boxer moving around and Canelo's gonna be the pressure fighter, cutting the ring off and he's doing a good job cutting it off right now. Good jab from Laura. Canelo already trying to shoot for the body, just a little bit wide on that left hook. Can Laura threw that left hand and Canelo blocked it. Good, good attempt at a right hand from Canelo. Laura's going to do a lot of movement so Canelo needs to keep moving to that body, keep tackling that body. Laura's moving, moving. Sliding around. The only thing I don't like that Laura's doing right now, even though he's sliding, he's getting himself against the ropes already. I I don't like that because if Canelo is to able to push a little bit more, Laura only has side to side to move. You see right now he was able to move back. Good body shot from Canelo. So, see, like, Laura can slide back, slide side to side. He should be keeping that distance. Good right hand to the body from Canelo. <laughs> Canelo should keep working his jab. Keep popping that jab. Don't pull straight back. That was a good combination from Laura. Keep that head movement going from Canelo. He should keep it going as he comes forward. Make it hard to, get, hard to hit him. Don't sit there and be a target. Good, good counter from Laura. Canelo, you can see he's trying to work head and body. So Canelo should be trying to throw a lot more feints, throw them off. Keep, make Laura bite and believe that he's going to do something. Good left hand, but I believe it was blocked by Canelo. Canelo shouldn't just force his way. He needs to use his head movement and then counter off that head movement. Time. So, first round, I gave it 10-9 Laura. I thought it was a good round for Laura. He was counter-punching. He was moving, using his movement to set up his counters. 
and he was able to get a couple counter punch. It wasn't much, like it wasn't much going on, but he was able to land a couple shots. But you can see Canelo is trying to go to the body. What I would like to see from Canelo is him work his feints more and then off to his feints, use his head movement and try to slip or weave or do something, then attack the body. Don't just try to rush in straight in because then someone like Laura, who was a counter puncher, who's a really, really um, strict counter puncher, meaning like he won't initiate the action until he feels comfortable. Someone like that, you gotta force them to think they can throw a punch and then you counter them. So that's what I think Canelo needs to do is like faint. Don't just rush in because Laura's gonna shoot right away. He needs to faint and then let Laura throw a punch and counter him or make him feel uncomfortable and then jump on him right away. But so far, uh, like I said, I don't like Laura, how he's, he'll be right here and then he'll slide real close to the ropes and only go side to side. That limits his movement. I think he should just be moving around, kind of like how De La Hoya was doing in, in against Trinidad in the early rounds, how he was moving, staying away from ropes. I wish Laura would do that. Canelo, head movement, jabs, work that body. Constantly moving that head, don't stay there. All right, now let's begin for round number two. Both guys back in the middle of the ring. <clears throat> Laura flagging out some jabs. Try and keep his distance, keep Canelo on the outside. Good counter jab from Canelo. And that's what he needs to keep doing. Make sure he counters every time Laura punches. Yeah, he can't, see, Canelo can't get lazy with those jabs because Laura's looking to counter any way he can. Good body shot, right hand. That was more of an off balance shot, I wouldn't say much. Good right hand from Canelo. You can see now he's starting to feel comfortable, like he's getting his distance. Good job. I just don't like Canelo staying and keeping his head right there. He should be keeping small movements. And I, once again, I don't think he should be hitting the head. I think he should hit arms, chest, body, anything you can touch. Slow, can, slow Laura down like that. See that body shot? Good movement, Laura. So good movement, good sliding around. Canelo, he shouldn't be chasing his shit up. Just like how he's doing, cut that ring off, cut the ring off. And as soon as he blocks, he needs to counter away. He kind of did it, but that hook didn't land fully. He should, as soon as he gets done blocking, Canelo needs to counter right away. Laura should keep flagging him with that jab, keep pushing it out just like that, keep pushing it out, keep pushing it out. Should make Canelo off balance, count and counter like that. Even though it was in a hard jab, it's still keeping him off balance. Keep Canelo off balance while he moves around, use the ring, hit and move, hit and move. That's what Laura needs to be doing. Good body shots from Canelo. Push that right uppercut. There you go. See, the jab went to head miss, but that right hand to the body didn't. Kind of a little frustrated. Canelo should not be waiting for Laura like that. He should be moving, constantly moving, even if he's in front of him. Just small little movements with his head, with his upper body. Just to throw off Laura. Don't give him an easy target. See, that's another reason why he shouldn't headhunt. Makes it easy for Laura to move and weave out. Give him combos, give him combos. Good body shot. Uh, that was on the belt line. That was, you know, depending where the referee said they will call punches legal. You could say that was a low blow. That was not. It was on the borderline. So that one, though, I will give that round 10-9 for Canelo. I thought Canelo was landing a lot more shots. He was able to get in his range, especially with the body shots a little bit more. I thought he was doing a better job than what he did in the first round. I still don't like that Canelo is still waiting there. I mean, he's just staying here, taking pictures, and then boom, gets hit with, by Laura. I think even if he's standing in front of him, he should just be moving, constantly moving. So if Laura punches, he can counter off right away. Laura, I think he should, he shouldn't just sit there and pose like this. I think he should just keep, like how he's doing, um, keep pushing that 
jab, that pawing jab out there and then shoot combos and even work a little bit more feints, make Canelo jump in and then counter and move. He's doing real good with his leg movement, constantly moving, constantly moving, making it hard for Canelo. Canelo, once again, needs to keep going the body and don't, like we saw in that one time, don't throw that big left hook to the head, throw it to the body because you saw that when he threw that hook, Laura was able to weave out. So um, I got one apiece, but we're seeing what both guys need to do so far. Uh, if they want to win the fight. So let's go to round three and see how it continues after that. Laura popping off that jab. There you go. You should keep it like that. Keep that jab, flag it. Put all in at it. See what Canelo's going to do. There you go. See that small movement? That was better from Canelo. Like, try that movement. Don't just stay there. But I don't, I don't recommend... Good to up right up because... I recommend throwing those right up because when he's in close like that, don't throw it from far away, especially against the south pole. Leaves yourself open too much. Good movement from Canelo. Good jabs working from Laura to see what's going on. Ah, uh, don't look for that one big shot, Canelo. You can see he was looking for that over and right. I think he should just be working. Those combos, throw two, three shots like that to set up a big shot. Good defense though. Laura blocked that right hand. Laura back on the movement. Good. Don't let Laura try to hold you. Make it rough even in the inside. Canelo needs to make that fight rough. See, he's looking for one big shot. He needs to take quick step, not one big hop with his legs. I'm talking about Canelo. He telegraphs. You can see that coming. Laura's doing good footwork. The only thing I wish Laura would do is more punches with that footwork because he's moving, keeping Canelo off balance, making it hard for him, but he's not punching off that. He needs to be throwing punches off that. Good. See why Canelo is moving his head? How it helps? Helps him slip, be able to get out of punches so it makes it hard to get hit. I, you know, now that Canelo's moving, Laura needs to target more to the chest because Canelo will duck right into it. This one, he's bouncing a little too much. I think Laura's doing too much footwork on this one. Good jabs. Uh, Canelo's needs to throw a little bit more combinations and mix up his combinations and make it different. Make it hard for Laura to predict because Laura's trying to pick up a pattern so he can counter. Good left hand from Laura. See, by him putting that jab out there, thought he was just going to pull and then shot that left. Canelo should have just worked that jab more. Work the jab more, work the jab more. Don't just walk your way in and think you can bullet because Laura, as we can see, he's moving around, moving around. Okay. That one, I'm going to give a 10-9 to Canelo just because I thought Canelo was a little bit more active and he landed a little bit more shots on Laura. Laura wasn't really that active with his punch count till the last, I want to say, 30 seconds. And it wasn't like he landed a big floor. He landed one or two shots here and there. So majority of the round I would give to Canelo. He was pushing the pace. He was landing a little bit more shots, whether it was arm or body. And then um, Laura just came on a little late, a little too late for me in my liking. But one thing Laura, like I was mentioning, Laura's doing really good with his footwork. But what I'm not liking is he's not throwing punches off that footwork. You can see he's making it hard to, he's not staying in one spot. So it's hard for Canelo to land those big shots. As you, we can see Canelo's trying to look for like the big hooks, right hooks and overhand rights. But Laura should keep moving, keep moving. Stop real quick, shoot a shot and move right out. Um, Canelo, he's kind of doing what Trinidad was doing in the earlier rounds in that round. Was looking for that one big shot, one big shot. We saw that big uppercut that missed early on. He's looking for big shots, and you can't do that with someone that's moving a lot. We got you got to throw a couple shots, throw away shots, make them believe, and then boom, whip a hard shot or throw a couple to get you close in range, and boom, another hit him with the body. 
Another thing I noticed with Canelo is, as we saw, he kept looking for that big wide shot and he kept opening his stance, widening his stance. That's him telegraphing. I think he should take quick st um, quick steps, push off his back for take quick steps, and then rip a combination at Lara. But we'll see what happens. So, like I said, I got 2-1 Canelo. I, like, I, I wish Lara would throw a little bit more punches, but we'll continue seeing we're in round four and let's see what happens in round four. In round number four. Good, and one, one, two jab high, and then shot that too low for Laura. It's good footwork, good footwork. Canelo's cutting them off. See, there you go. See, that's what Canelo had to do. Slide with him and then punch right away. That's what Canelo needs to do. Good defense from Laura, but now I wish good body shot from Canelo. Laura needs to counter. He's a counter punch. He needs to block and counter. Don't let Canelo get in the groove and get confidence there. See, like that, that's Canelo getting confidence, pushing the action. Even if it's landing on, he knows that Laura's not countering, so Canelo's going to try to force the action. So, good work in the body, just keep working. That's how you slow a guy with the, that legs that likes to move a lot. Attack that body, attack that body. Don't stay there taking pictures. Move that head, as I was saying earlier. Don't make the fight easier. Good jab and right hook to the body. See, Laura needs to start countering more. Because he's letting Canelo get confidence. Uh, see, instead of sliding so much, Laura should have just took a step to the side and then jumped right on him for making him miss it with that big overhand right that he made him miss. So counter with your left or counter with something. Don't don't just slide out and make Canelo miss. Counter right away. That's good that Canelo, don't let Laura lean on you. Don't make him tire you out physically. Don't don't look for one shot. Double those left hooks. Tap. There you go. But now, don't look for two shots. Laura should just throw a couple and then get out. Hit a couple. There you go. See, hit and move a little bit. Just like that. Good body shots. Canelo's working that body a lot more. And that's what he needs to be doing. Constantly working that body. Like in there, Canelo should be making a rough, trying to punch in there, move him or lean on Laura. Get physical. With someone that wants to move and box, make it a little bit physical for them. Make it hard. Good job. Laura needs to counter a little bit more. Good. Laura's got the movement. Good and head movement with that, but he needs punches. Yeah, I need to see more of a punch output with him. Good. See now, Canelo's making it harder with the movement. Laura is once again doing good movement, making him miss. But remember, boxing is a sweet sign. Make him miss, make him pay. He needs to be making him pay right now, and he's not doing that. He's making him miss, but he's not making him pay. So for me, round number four was a 10-9 for Canelo. And the reason for that is, as I was explaining, that Canelo is attacking the body. I know a lot of people are glamorous. They love the head shot. They love sneaking. You see people snap, head snap back. But body shots, you don't really notice till someone folds up or winces in pain. But trust me, in a 12-round fight, body shots pay dividends. And I think it's underappreciated. Like Canelo, is, he may not be dropping him but he's slowly working that body and getting his shots in because as we see every time he tries to go for the head Laura's weaving sliding out so you know I think fans and judges and people just in general need to pay attention more to body work because I think Canelo won that round based on body work Laura like I said is doing good he's doing great at moving keeping Canelo off balance and making him miss big time like when he goes for those big right hands or big hooks to that but he has a problem remember boxing is a sweet sign hit don't, I mean, hit and don't get hit. Canelo, or Laura is doing the don't get hit part, but he's not hitting as much. See, and that's where I think he's letting a, a lot of these rounds slip away right now. Is I think he should be attacking a little bit more. And even, like how I was saying, he doesn't have to go out just bombing away. Even when he blocks, as soon as he blocks a shot, just boom, counter right back. A one shot, 
one, two, uh, whatever, two, three, two, counter with something. Make Canelo respect you because as we saw, Canelo's just early on just started bum rushing, bum rushing. Even though he was hitting the arms, he still was letting his hands go. He was being the busier fighter. Why? Because Can uh, Laura was not making him respect him and not hitting back, firing back. So he's giving Canelo confidence like, hey, even though if I miss or if I hit him on the arms, he's not going to punch and he's not going to hit me back. So I'm just going to keep wearing him down, wearing him down. So I think Laura needs to punch more, punch more. He's got the leg movement, the movement around the ring. He's got the down pack, but he has to, has to, has to start punching more because in my scorecards, I have it, uh, I believe three to one. Yes, I have three to one Canelo winning. I had Laura winning the first round and Canelo winning the next three after that. So I think Laura needs to step up the pace as far as punch output. If he can do that, I think he'll slowly favor, start moving in his favor. But we're going to hop in round number five and we're going to see how it plays out. All right, we're hopping in round number five. Good job from Laura. He's back on the movement. But see what I'm saying? He made him miss, but he's not making him pay. Laura needs to be countering off that a little bit more. Good right hook from Laura. I think he should start working in right hooks a little bit more against Canelo. I think that might pay a huge dividend. See, Canelo's trying to rush in. Canelo cannot do that, but Laura should take advantage that Canelo's trying to rush in now. Catch him with shots that he doesn't see coming in. Like, good left hand. See, just... Stay real quick, stay still, boom, pop another shot. Canelo can't go back to attacking the head. He needs to wear the body down like that. Just keep banging, keep banging the body. Laura should be shooting more right hooks, I think, right now. I think he'll have a lot more success if he starts throwing those right hooks. Because we saw earlier on, he landed one, Canelo was expecting. Canelo's back on the body shots. Good, good. Um, he's can Laura try to put combinations now, but Canelo got out of there. He's using his legs. I think Canelo should be cutting the ring off, and while he's cutting punch, don't just stand in front. Cut and throw punches while he's moving. That was a little low. There you go. See, he'll keep throwing that right hook. I think it's gonna catch him off balance. Good defense from Laura. Good body shot. I think Laura needs to stay away from those ropes. He shouldn't lay there. He should just keep moving like how he is. Make it hard for Canelo. Make Canelo frustrated. Good body shots. I think Laura should do throw that right hook now off of a punch off, especially off that left hand. Cause I think Canelo will be trying too busy trying to block and then counter and he can catch him in between the shots. Good 2-1, catching him. Canelo's getting a little wild, he's getting a little frustrated. He should th start working his jab, work the jab, and then work his way inside and then attack that body. Both guys are trying to jab each other, see? He's back to, uh-oh. Canelo's back to throwing those Big shots, he should keep his shots short and step. When he punches, step with Lara, step with Lara, step with Lara. Cut him off, don't let him, don't try to stay in one spot because as we see, Lara's constantly moving, constantly moving. Good defense from Lara as he moves out. See, that's what I'm talking about. He shouldn't, no wide shots, keep it short and throw multiple punches. Time. Oops. That one, I'm going to give a... 10-9, Laura. I did like Canelo's body work in that round, but I don't think it was as much. I think it was too far in between the rounds. So I think um, Laura started landing some good right hooks and started catching Canelo, and then he started making Canelo miss a lot more. And we could see Canelo was getting frustrated because he started going back to some of the mistakes he was doing, looking for one big shot, trying to rush in or throw, not throw, or come out wide with his hooks, not trying to throw, just short. Even if it misses, just let it hit arm, or even if it misses a little bit, follow through. So we can see Canelo's getting a little bit frustrated right now. I will say 
once again, I'm still not liking that Laura is moving, but he's not making Canelo pay. I think if he was to make Canelo, or if he was to make Canelo miss, and then make him pay by throwing back combinations, I think he would put Canelo, make Canelo more reserved, meaning that he won't want to throw punches. Like Canelo will keep his hands up more and be trying to pick, be thinking a lot which punches he's throwing and what Canelo's thinking he could be punching a lot more. So I think that's something that Laura should be working on is punch more, though. punch more, punch more. Like I said, it doesn't have to be he has to start. He can still be the counter puncher. It's just when he makes Canelo miss, counter, counter right away. Um, I liked Canelo in spots when he got in close. He was working about it. I like it. But I think he needs to go back to working the jab, keeping the movement, because now we just see him going back here, staying still. And that's what's getting him in trouble. Oh, one more thing before I finish. Laura should start incorporating that right hook as we saw where he was landing. He should, now, you saw there was a few times he tried to land the right hook, but Canelo's already had a chance. I think he should be doing it off the left hand and then coming back with that right hook. Or if Canelo jabs, then throw the right hook to counter right over the top. So, but so far I have it 4-2. Four, four no, my, no, 3-2, my bad, I'm sorry. I meant to say, I got 3-2 Canelo. I think it's a close fight. I I still think it can swing. We're slowly heading into the middle round. So we'll see. We're going to head into round number six, and we're going to see how it plays out. Round number six. And now putting the pressure cut. Laura sliding back. And Laura should be making him counter, or should be countering every time Canelo misses with those big shots like that. Laura tried to come with a double jab left hand. Canelo caught and block it. And Canelo's going for the body shot and Laura's sliding out. See there, I think Laura should be slipping and counter with his right hook every time Canelo jabs. And I think he, he'll start making Canelo hesitant with that jab. See, just counter every time over that counter every time. Good left hand from Laura in between. Oh, they're getting tangled. But see, even though they were tangled, Canelo was letting his hands go. That's what he needs to do. Don't get, don't let Laura slow down the pace. Keep that pressure up. Keep the pace high. Good counter right hook from Laura. He should keep on using that more. Yeah, there you go. Canelo needs to make it physical. Don't let Laura tie up. Be physical. Move him around. Punch him there. Keep banging him. Good footwork, getting out of there from Laura. It's resetting. I think Laura should go down to the body a little bit more as well, especially when Canelo gets on that movement, the head movement like that. I think Canelo should be stepping at an angle and throwing those body shots. See if Laura's sliding, he should step to the right and throw the right hook to the body. If Laura slides to his left, he should step to the left and throw a left hook to the body. Don't just come forward and throw that body shot. See, because it allows Laura to slide out. I think he should be coming at an angle, kind of like that, just a little bit more in. He was trying to stay in one spot. Canelo should be moving as he punches with Laura. Good defense, but Canelo should counter right back. Both guys, they block real good, but they don't counter off that. I think they should counter off that, make the other person hesitant. Good one two from Laura. Catching Canelo coming in. Canelo is getting a little reckless. He's abandoning his head upper body movement. He's going head hunting too much. Making it easy for Laura to move counter. He should be making it hard. Jab, there you go. Keep slipping that jab. Ah, see, I said that earlier. Canelo shouldn't be throwing that right uppercut from so far away. There you go. Keep working. Keep working. There you go. Like that. Make the fight physical. Make it physical. That's what Canelo needs. Laura wants a slow paced fight. Not much happening. Canelo, his job is to make that fight very physical, very rough on the inside. So, like I said, Canelo cannot afford to let Laura hold him or slow the pace because he wants to slow that pace down. Keep it slow pace where he can throw punches, move around, punch, move in the bell ring. It's just winding the clock down. Canelo has to make that fight rough. But before I continue, I'm going to say I gave that round 10-9.
Laura. And the reason for that was Laura was moving a lot more. Canelo was back, going back, throwing his big shots, one shot, one hard shot at a time. And Laura was making a miss. And while he was missing, Laura was in between either landing right hooks or straight left hands. So now to continue on my point I was saying was Canelo needs to make it rough. Another thing, as I was saying in there, Canelo needs to start stepping, cutting Laura off. So he's just coming forward and trying to throw punches and Laura's sliding out. Wherever, if Laura slides to the left, Canelo needs to step to his left, throw that left hook to the body and then come up and count. Same thing going to the right, step to the right, cut him off and throw that right hook to the body and then come up top. Laura, I keep saying it, I keep saying it, I keep saying it. Is he's doing great footwork, great footwork. He's getting Canelo, you see Canelo, he's starting to run in get a little um, anxious and, you know, frustrated. But he, Canelo will throw a big bomb, he'll slide out and nothing happen. He needs to let Canelo throw that big overhand right, left hook, whatever shot he throws, let him miss, he slides out and then come right back in and jump on top of him and counter him right away. These are big opportunities that Laura is letting slip away because if he, you know, yeah, we see Canelo missing, but we don't see him make a pick. If he, Laura could slide out, and then come right back and counter, that's gonna be a lot more eye-catching and a lot more like Laura's in control right now because probably a lot of people are thinking, oh, Laura's running, Laura's running. I don't think Laura's running. I think he's doing a real good job, footwork, moving around, moving around, setting up, making Canelo frustrated, but he's not capitalizing off that footwork. So he's letting out some of it go to waste. Like I said, I think if he was to move and then counter right away, it would play a lot more in his favor, but Right now, I slowly see the tide turning for Laura. Let's see if Canelo can do anything to jump back in and get the tide going back in his favor. Now we're in round number seven. Let's go. All right, we're in round number seven. See, Canelo's doing good upper body movement. He should be using the upper body move to come in and slowly move his way in, getting on the inside. And off that body move, he should be shooting that jab. Good one-two from Laura. See, Laura, don't make it rough. That's it, Laura did good. Tying him up, slow that pace down, and got him back in the middle of the ring, away from the little oak. That's where Laura wants to be, in the middle, where he has plenty of space to move around. Good flurry and sliding out. See, and that's what Laura should do. Hit, slide out, hit, slide out. Good. He should shorten up that right hook. Canelo's trying to get inside a little bit, shorten up that right hook. Laura, I mean, Canelo can't pull back. Because, see, Laura caught him with that left hand. Good, good offense from Canelo, especially at body work. Good. See, Canelo can't look so much for the head because Laura will slide out. Laura good with the pawing, seeing where the distance is. Canelo can't stay there. He should be using his upper body movement. Don't stay there. See? He got caught. He kept his upper body movement right there. He should be moving the head, moving that waist, moving around. Keep it there. You go working. But Laura, he should be countering. When Canelo attacks that body, counter with uppercuts. Lift him up. Make, make him not want to go to that body. Good body shot from Canelo. Good pressure. See, yes, there you go. Canelo should be stepping with him. Cut him off, cut him off. Don't just follow him. Cut the ring off. Make the ring smaller. See, he's trying to rush in. You can't rush in. You got to set your way up. You can't look for one shot. Look, Canelo's looking for one big shot. That's it. And all it takes is Laura to move, block, move, block, weave. Get out of there, see. Laura should have just short a uh, left uppercut in there and then slid out. Make Canelo respect you. Don't let him think that he can just walk in. That's why L Laura should be throwing some shots in there. Just gain that respect. Make Canelo realize, like, hey, if you walk in, I'm going to hit you. Good. Good jab from Canelo. I do not. I don't think that body shot landed though. Good. He's back to the body shots. Okay. 
That was a good round. This one, to me, was a close round just because both guys were putting the, um, they were to being a little bit more active. Canelo was coming forward, trying to throw more shots, get a little bit more physical. Laura was throwing a little bit more punches. So this is one of those rounds, like, if I give you my scorecard, or I mean, give you my round, like, I won't get mad if you think the other person won. For me, I'm going to give this one 10-9 for Laura. I think Laura just did just enough to win that round. Let me hold on. Let me write this down first, guys. 10-9 for Laura. Like I said, I think Laura did just enough to win that round. I think he landed while Canelo was keeping his hands up. I think he landed just enough shots to catch him. while And Canelo was trying, but he was missing a lot. And Laura was moving around, making him miss a lot. And catching Laura, uh, Canelo running in. But like I said, it was a it was a little bit uh, high, a little bit more of a high piece round compared to the other rounds. So both guys were trying to, you know, make sure they won this round. Like I won't get mad if people right now be like, nah, I thought Canelo won that one. I thought it was his body work, which I you know I like the body work that he was doing. I, so like I said, I wouldn't get mad. I just think it was more of a Laura round in the sense of Laura was making a miss. Laura got in exchange. I mean, got in close, held him, slowed the round down. And was landing a little bit more shots. It may not have been the eye catching shots, like the head snapping back or anything, but I think it was just enough. But I can see Canelo getting a little bit closer. Like he's closing the gap. So I think he's closing the gap, and this is making it a closer fight. Like I said, it's not a, oh, Laura clearly won. It was one of those, like, I can see where you're coming from. And you're like, no, I thought Canelo won based on his pressure. Body shots, like I said, this is to me one of those rounds, like, it can go either way. So I won't be mad. If someone says, no, I thought Laura won. I, I mean, Canelo won that round. I agree. I think I could see it being a Canelo round. It's one of those rounds. It's like, hmm, can go either way. I think I'm leaning with Laura, like I said, with his movement and landing a little bit more of the shots. But like I said, I won't get mad if I, you guys say Canelo. But let's go round number eight and let's see how that plays out now. Canelo, she's working at faint a little bit more upper body movement. Laura's standing his ground just a little bit. And he's using his upper body movement. I think Laura should stand his ground just a little bit. Use his upper body movement, counter, and then step a, step around, step around, slide out. I don't think he has to be using his feet so much. Canelo was trying to gauge the distance. That was good. That was a good move. Kept that arm out and then popped a quick jab. I think he needs to work off that too. Good, body, good jab to the body from Laura. Don't see many of those. I think Laura should be jabbing up and down, up and down, keeping good. Oh, good one, two. Or good, well, right hand for sure from Canelo. So, Laura's got a cut from the last round. He caught, Canelo caught him with an uppercut, left uppercut, and made him cut him. Good right hand to the body from Canelo. So, Laura should be popping that jab right about now. Keep him off balance. I like that movement. Off that movement, they see what I'm saying. They just threw Canelo off that movement and they popped a quick jab. That's what he should be doing more now. I think he, he does that a lot more. I think he's, he's doing good, good right hook. Canelo needs to make it rough. Don't let him tie you up. That's what he wants to do. Canelo should be trying to fight out of that. Don't let Laura tie you up. Laura, Canelo should be doubling those jabs. Don't get happy with just one jab. Good. Um, Laura came over top with that. His jab over Canelo's jab. Good body shot from Canelo. So I think Canelo should be doubling his jabs, working more feints. Yeah, there you go. See, then assert himself like that off the jabs and feints. Laura needs to stay away from those ropes because if he takes one step back, look like that, he has nowhere to go but to the side. Canelo should be, as soon as he pushes him forward, Canelo should step to the side to cut his way out, so push him against the ropes and then cut him off, cut him off, step with him. Canelo should be ready, because you know, he knows once Laura's back touches those ropes, he's ready to go side to side, so Canelo should be light on his feet to cut him off. Be ready to hit him, and then the moment he moves, boom, cut him off. back with the movement, back with the pressure. 
There you go. See, Laura has his counter over that. That's what he needs to do. But then once he lands it, he needs to fire a left hand off that. Canelo, even if Canelo gets hit, he should roll and counter back with his two or counter back with body shots. Make Laura hesitant to throw punches. Don't let him think he can get free shots whenever he wants. Oops. There we go. All right. So for me, I gave that round 10-9 for Laura. I think Laura did really good with uh, slowing Canelo down and catching him in between of those jabs. He's kind of, he kept coming over with, he would throw the left and then come over with his own jab, but like come over Canelo so you come over and catch him a lot more like that. And I think he did a lot better slowing the round down, especially since last round was a high pace round, he did better slowing it down at more of his pace. Canelo needs to keep working that jab, but you saw how he's just here and then punched out, that's good, but he needs to keep like changing it up. Jab, double jab, quick jabs. And as he's throwing it, step with it because it seems like he wants to throw one jab, stay right there and then swing. Now he's gotta be hit, 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 move, move. As he's punching, use his feet to come with him and then cut off the ring. Because Laura, we know once his back touches the ropes, he's gonna move angle so he needs to cut him off and work that body more canelo needs to go back to that body work he needs to needs to needs to and counter he because oh, he's throwing a lot of punches and then laura is going to counter him and then he does not know even if laura hits you counter right back counter right back keep the pressure on keep the pressure on keep laura thinking like hey if i do one mistake i, I might get counters make him hesitate make him doubt himself but with Canelo not countering, it's just letting Laura know, like, hey, I can hit and then get out. I can hit and do whatever I want. So I think Canelo needs to start countering the counter puncher now. Laura, I, the only thing I wish Laura would do more, stand his ground a little bit more, like I said. Um, work the jab a little bit more up and down, stand the ground, hit, and then slide out and then get back. You don't have to move so much. There's no need for all that movement just now. Hit, slide out, stay, stand your ground, hit, slide out, stand your ground. So we're gonna hop in round number nine. We're gonna see how this plays out now. All right, round number nine. Canelo needs to go back to upper body movement too. Don't abandon that. Laura with the pawing jab, stepping around. Good bang from Canelo. I think he should keep working that feint. A lot more make Laura attack and then counter him. Ah, don't rush in. We'll just throw in the one shot, you know. Because Laura's gonna move or he's gonna counter that. See, like right there, Laura's good. He, he blocked that, but he should stand his ground good overhand left. Stand the ground, faint, use your upper body movement, then shoot a shot. Good body shot from Canelo. See, he, that right hook cut didn't land, but that left hook did. That's what Canelo's got to do. He's got to throw combination, combination. There you go. See, work that body. He missed. He landed right hook, but missed the left. He should, he should shorten it up and aim towards the body. Don't just swing it, just to swing. It was a small headbutt. It's going to happen when the right hand softball fight against each other. I don't think it was intentional. Good combination from Laura. See, Canelo should have counter right there. Don't just sit there taking it. Even if you're blocking it, it still looks like to everyone, even the judges, like he's doing, he's outworking you. Don't let that happen. There you go, Canelo. See, he got he brought him in. Let Laura get a false sense of security and then out start working him. Good body shot. Laura's doing good footwork, getting out of there. Boom, hitting, moving. Good jab from Canelo. Good body shot from Canelo. Good body shots. And Laura tried to counter with a right uppercut. I think as soon as he, he blocks it, he should counter right away. Don't, don't give a split second for um, Canelo to think or anything. Good left, good right hand from Laura. Oh, that was a slip. 
canvas, uh, the canvas over here in the corner. It's a little wet, so I was a slip. Looks like Laura is getting a little tired. He was breathing a little heavy right there, but all right. So for this one, once again, I think this was another close round. I'm gonna give it 10-9 for Canelo. This is once again, this is one of those rounds I can see people saying, "I had it for Laura. I had it for Canelo. I had." It. To me, that was one of those close rounds just because both guys started implementing what they wanted. Laura was starting to hit more. Early on, he was boom, landing, landing, catching Canelo, coming in. But then he, you could see he started getting tired, he started getting tired. And Canelo was starting to get inside, work the body, work the body, landing hooks to the body. And even you saw him that one time, he held Laura, made Laura relax, and then started working, outworking him. And even then, towards the end, uh, Laura started trying to counter a little bit more, but he wasn't, like Canelo was able to move, get out of the way a little bit, just a little bit better in the previous rounds but I think it was a close round I can see a case being either one this is definitely one of those rounds you're like I can see like hey I thought Canelo won that or I thought Laura won that like I can see a case being made for either one like I could see like Laura did land a lot of good shots was slipping countering was hitting while Canelo was blocking so I can see you guys saying hey Laura I won't get mad I'm like yeah I can see that or same thing like Canelo I'm like nah he had more body punches he had more harder shots you can see he was moving Laura a little bit more which is true I can see that as well they both did really good on that round there was some good things they both did and there was some bad things they both did so it's one of those rounds I toss up I think depending on what type of style you like and what you prefer if you like the boxing more if you like the aggressor if you like body punches or if you like the headshots if you like there's just so many variations of what you like that goes into it so I can see it being like, yeah, I, I was, I like this more, so I gave this run, or I like that more, and that's why I gave it to him. So, but it's a close fight. Um, where do I have it right now? I have one, two, three, four rounds for Canelo, and then one, two, three, four, five rounds for Laura, and two of those rounds were close rounds that can go either way. So, it's a close fight. It's a real, real close fight, man. Very, very close. So we'll see. We're heading slowly, heading into the championship rounds. We're heading into round number ten. So let's see how, what happens and see who takes the fight. Canelo good back on that upper body movement. That's what he should do. Keep using that upper body movement. Make it hard to be counter. I like that Laura's countering. Canelo's jab with his own jab. He's jabbing over it. Good upper body move. Good left hand from Laura. Caught Canelo trying to look for that right hook. Good. Good combination from Laura. Uh, Canelo's just rushing in. That's why he got caught with those right hooks. You shouldn't be rushing in. Just work your jab. Work your way in. Throw a couple combinations. Attack chest and body. Don't head hunt. Laura's doing real good now jabbing over Canelo's jab right there Canelo's can make it physical don't let him don't let him tie you up don't let him get close just keep making it physical use your strength and body to wear him down that's what Canelo should be doing good move from Laura and good he's staying right there where exactly where he wants to be in the middle of the ring good good combination from Laura Good body work from Canelo. There was a few low blows, according to the ref. Wasn't the best angle to see. Laura's side to side, keeping Canelo guessing. He's not sure. Canelo, when he's doing that, Canelo should be fainting, fainting. See where he's looking, and then 
faint and then work your way inside, throw a combination or faint with a jab and then come with the right hand to the body or something. Canelo should be stepping, punch and step where he sees Laura step. He should step and punch with him. Don't just try to stay there and punch and hopefully he lands. Step, cut him off, step, cut him off. Good, good right hook in there from Laura. Good combination. I think only the left hand landed though. Good, sliding out. That round, I'll give that round to Laura. I thought he did really good landing a lot more punches. Um, I thought he did land a lot better landing his combinations. Canelo, he kind of, I don't want to say he kind of gave it away because I don't want to make it seem like Laura he didn't earn it or anything. But, you know, by just standing there right here and letting uh, Laura punch, you're you're basically making it look easy for everyone saying like Laura's outworking you even if he if it's landing on arms he's still punching and it it looks it looks better for Laura when he's landing on your arms here to the judges and to the fans than when you when Laura makes Canelo miss you see what I'm saying what I mean by that is like look at how Canelo blocks punches staying here and look at how Laura makes Canelo miss. Like Canelo's missing these big bombs we we see him missing. That's more eye catching to see, hey, who's landing, who's not landing. And I think even if Canelo was just standing here, blah 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 blah, he should counter back right away. Blah blah blah, counter right back right away. Make it like okay, to look, make it look to everyone like oh okay, he's not getting out work, or he's not letting Laura tee off on him. So I think Laura did a lot better. I think. Canelo is focusing too much on rushing in, on trying to land one big shot. And he's kind of like falling into Laura's game plan. He's getting frustrated. He's not, he's looking for one big shot, missing one big shot, getting frustrated, trying to rush him and everything, making it easy for Laura to see when he comes in. Boom, hit, move, 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 hit, move, hit, move. So. We're in the championship rounds. We only got two rounds left, so I'm curious to see how Canelo handles the next two rounds, and so as Laura to see how his um, conditioning holds up. Because last round, he, when he went to the corner, I saw him taking a huge breath. You could tell he's getting tired because he's been moving a lot, a lot in this fight. So I kind of same thing real quick. Like I said about Delaware, I wish Delaware stood his ground a little bit more. That's what I wish a little bit more with Laura. Just stand the ground a little bit more, staying back in the middle of the ring. Like how he's done a few times, I think if he does that a little bit more, it would have been, it'd be a lot easier for him because, you know, he has more room compared to staying on the ropes where he's only got left or right compared to here. He can go forward, back, left, right, go at angles. See what I'm saying? There's just more options for him. But let's see, let's hop in round 11 and see what happens. Round number 11. back on the movement. Canelo trying to catch him with those jabs. Canelo should go back to that upper body movement. I've been saying that the whole time he needs to go back. He's just trying to stay, keep his head there and rush in like a bull. And that's not working. That's good, Laura, using the upper body movement. Canelo, there, see? When Canelo used that movement, it makes it harder for him to get hit. Good left hand from Can um, Laura and good right uppercut from Canelo. Ah, see, that's what Laura wants. To slow that down so he can move around. Canelo should have fought his way. He should not have let Laura tie him up. And if he did, make, it, make him not want to tie up. 
See, there you go. See, like that, like that. Okay, the referee said break, then my bad, but that's the ideal. You know, getting close and boom. Good body work from Canelo. That's what he needs to do. Good block, but remember what I said? He shouldn't be blocked. He should be moving his head more. Good right hook from Laura. He should be using that punch a little bit more. That right hook. I think that right hook, he's abandoned it, and it was having some success for him early on. Good job from Canelo. Laura back on the pawn. Good left hand. He caught Canelo. Good one, two. Yeah. See, Canelo letting his hands go. See what? Canelo lets those hands go. Good things happen for him. He should be careful with that right up cut from far away. Good left hand from Laura. Good job from Canelo. But Canelo ducked. He should have came back with a punch or off that movement step and cut um, Laura off. Good body shot. From Canelo, he, he sees that Laura getting tired. He's trying to rush him a little bit more. But I, I would give that round 10 9 Laura. Just because Canelo was throwing some good body shots and was getting off a little bit better. But he was letting Can Laura get. Throw a little bit more punches and land a little bit more. He's see Canelo's trying to see when he's kind of it's almost like you know in a way it's similar. It's not exactly similar to Trinidad De La Hoya. Laura being uh, De La Hoya and Trinidad being or Canelo being Trinidad. Well, if you guys watched my last video about that, go watch it. I was getting mad at Trinidad because he kept, when he threw one shot. He was getting in trouble and was getting hit. But when he threw combinations, then he made it easier on himself and made it harder on, on De La Hoya. It's the same thing. When Canelo throws combinations, he's landing, he's getting Ken, Laura, he's hitting him, he's making it hard fight. But when he goes back to looking for that one shot, one shot or two shots, the jab, overhand, jab, hook or something, it makes it easy for Laura because he sees it and then he counters off that. Um, Laura is doing a lot of footwork and you can see he's getting tired, getting tired. Same thing like De La Hoya. If he would stand his ground a little bit more, sit on his shots, and then move a little bit, I think he would have a lot better success. Um, Laura is just... He's, he, he's just... He's, he's doing just enough, I think. I feel like he's doing just enough to win these rounds. Like if I, feel, I feel like if he was to stand his ground a little bit more, it would be like, no, he clearly won these rounds. Like he, like that right hook, like he was catching him earlier in the middle rounds and then abandoned it. Then he was countering over Canelo's jab with his own jab, but then abandoned it. So I think if Laura would have went back to mixing all that together, doing combination, I think he would have had some success. But we're gonna pop in around twelve and we're gonna see how, what happens there. All right, twelve and final round. Let's see how it goes. Canelo's coming out strong. Feels like he's got to win this round to win the fight. See, that upper body move, he should have been doing that a couple of rounds ago. I don't know why he abandoned that. Good body shot, good body work. Laura, Laura should be countering. When Canelo goes to body, he should be countering uppercuts, making um, Canelo not want to go and throw those body shots. Good combination. Canelo can't stay there. He should be moving his head. Good body work. Hey, see? Canelo should be like that. Just let your hands go. Keep letting your hands go. Laura, he, he, even if he can't slide up, he's tired. He should be taking steps backwards to the side. Don't let 
Canelo stand there and just tee off on you. Same thing what I was saying about Canelo. He can't let Lara do good, good body shots. Like I was saying, like Canelo, I was saying Canelo can't let Lara tee off. Same thing, Lara can't let Canelo tee off to the body like that. Good defense from Canelo. Good body shot. See the one two there land? That left hook to the body landed. You can tell Lara's getting tired. He just wants this round to end. He's feels like he's got it in the bag that he just needs to stand up. He's moving, moving. Good one too. Canelo can't get reckless. Even though he's pressuring. He needs to step it up. Good body shot. Ah, what did I say? Fight, fight. Don't let him tie you up. Uppercut, something. Keep, make it a rough fight, especially when you get inside like that. That's what Canelo should take full advantage. Don't let him. See, that's what Laura wants. Tie up. Create the space. He got more ring and it kills the clock. Canelo can't go back to looking for one punch. Good left hand. Good body shot. Canelo's picking up. Ah, he need Canelo's like let I don't want to say giving the round, but he's letting Laura kill that clock. Don't let Laura kill the clock. Make it rough in there. Make it make it hard for him by punching, making it uncomfortable. Like he doesn't want to hold it. Good body shot. Oh, that was a low blow. Oops, sorry. I didn't see it. Good try. Canelo try to faint with his right hand, come with that left uppercut. Time. So, I gave that round to Canelo. I thought Canelo did it. He came out strong. Sorry, my pen's like, nope. Can he, Canelo came out strong. He came out pressuring. He came out working a lot more of the body. And he was doing what I was saying a couple rounds. He should have been doing. He was back on the upper body movement coming forward. Canelo should have been doing that a couple rounds ago. That's what I was telling him. He was doing that early in the, early in the fight. And it was working so beautifully. I don't know what happened where he stuck later in the fight. He's just abandoned and stayed here. But anyway, Canelo did a lot better that round. That was one of his better rounds in the past few. He was working that body. He was working inside. I just didn't like that. He let Laura hold him. Make it rough. Even if the referees got to bring it up, still make it rough. Punching inside, trying to push off or anything, or lean on Laura. Do something. Make the fight physical. Because remember, Laura just wanted to move, hold, kill that clock, hit, move, hold, kill the clock. See what I'm saying? So, but I thought Laura, uh, Canel, uh, I didn't think Laura did enough. I think he landed a couple good left hands, a couple good one twos, but it wasn't enough. It was kind of infrequent. He was just kind of. Happy, he thought he had the fight won, so he was just wearing out the clock, wearing out the clock, wearing out the clock. So I'm gonna tally my scorecard up, and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I had the fight, and then if I agree with the judges that Canelo won or Laura won the fight, and then I'll explain any more into my scorecard what I think about the scoring, and depending on how you like the fight. So give me just a second, guys, and I'll tell you in a second. The score totals. Judging ringside, Jerry Roth scores about 115 to 113 for Eddie Slundy Lara. Judge Dave Moretti sees it 115 to 113 for Canelo Alvarez. And Judge Levi Martinez scores about 117 to 111 in favor of the winner. Based on my scorecard, I disagree with that. On my scorecard, I have it like the one judge that gave it to Laura. I had it 115-113. That was seven rounds to five. I thought Laura won. And then, you know, I had round seven and nine, the close round. So what I did also was I put it for both guys. So meaning I gave, I put two so round nine, I give to Canelo, but I also gave him round seven. If I would have done that, it would have been 114, 114, a draw. Then I gave seven and nine to Laura, and it would have been 116, 112. 
I personally feel 115, 113 was that's my official scorecard. I feel that was more of the more of the fight. I disagree highly with that referee or that judge that scored at 117, 111. I am not sure what he was watching. I really, really don't know. It was it's hard to see him give Canelo that many rounds. Um, it was a close fight. Here's my thoughts. I'm gonna get my thoughts on it right now. It was a close fight. It was very, very close because both guys had a lot of success at doing certain things. There was moments where Canelo was attacking the body, getting really good, putting the pressure, landing some good shots. Then there was Laura landing good combination, using his footwork, moving around, and doing what he had to do, counter, constantly keeping Canelo off, balance, you know, not letting Canelo be set. Uh, I don't, I see, once again, I see this as, close fight I wouldn't say a highway robbery to me a highway robbery is like when you have one fighter that completely dominates the fight and he just blatantly gets robbed I won't say a highway robbery but I say it was a close fight that I felt me personally I felt Canelo lost and I feel Laura won um like I said even those close rounds that I gave I gave them to Canelo I still would have ended it with a draw so I guess I could see Laura winning and or a draw. Um, I probably can see a case being made depending on how you score it. What you do. once again, like I was saying earlier, depending on what you like. If you liked a lot of the body work, maybe I can see a one fifteen, one thirteen for Canelo, but more so I see it for Laura. But I want to address this though. Like a lot of people are saying, Laura was running. No, I don't want to say he was running. He was using his footwork. One thing about Laura, if you notice that he does that in almost every fight, there's very few fights where he stood his ground and tried to fight you. But he moves around a lot, a lot, a lot. And you can see, like, there was times where he would move, but he would set himself in the middle of the ring or step out and stand his ground. Yes, there was a situation, there were spots where he was a little excessive, like he was moving too much. But as far as running, I wouldn't say he was running. I, I disagree with that when people say he was running in this fight. Uh, it's just like I think a lot of people don't know what ring generalship or, you know, how you, you use your feet to get you out of positions or make the other person miss. I think if they feel like it's excessive or that if it's not benefiting you in some way in an offensive manner, they think it's running. But I don't feel like Laura was running. The only fight, there's a fight. I got to go back and research and look. There's only one fight I can probably give the best demonstration of what was running. It was one, but not Hopkins. He made a title defense. It was one of his mandatories. I believe it was for the WBO title when he was the undisputed champion. He fought a guy, I believe it was from Europe, but I remember he was trying to, Bro Hopkins was trying to like fight and the guy just kept literally circling around the ring. Circle. Like he, he, that's all he did. Like that I would consider running. I, like I said, I have to research it figure out the guy's name and then put that fight on for you guys to see what is actual running but i don't feel like laura ran and then going back to canelo like i feel canelo was doing good early you know working the body keeping the pressure using his upper body movement but as the fight continued on it seemed like he was abandoning it like he was just content trying to land that big one one big shot not trying to throw one big body shot and that's it compared to he was before it was he was in spots he was working the body then trying to come up with uppercuts or, you know, letting his hands go. Um, he Canelo made the fight really, really hard on himself for that. I uh, I think if he would have been working using his upper body movement, using more combinations and cutting the ring off as he was punching, I think it would have been a lot better for him. But let me know what you guys thought, who you thought won. And put in the comments, put who you thought won the fight and what was your scorecard and why you thought they won the fight. Like I said, like, this is how I feel. This is just me personally, how I felt. I felt like Laura did enough in a close fight. I felt like he did just enough to win the fight. There was things like how I keep talking in the video. I felt like he could have done a little bit more with his punches, but I feel like he did just enough. So, but let me know, guys, what's the next fight you guys want me to do on controversial fights and everything. So I'll be tackling this every Friday. I'll be doing, just to give you guys an idea, I'll be doing some of the most highly controversial fights. And then once we get like past that and everything, I'll start doing fights just in general. Like even if it's a knockout or someone clearly won, like I still break it down and be like, is they doing this good? They're doing that bad, wrong. But I just want to tackle this one because I thought this would interest everyone and we're going to be doing it every Friday 
I'm gonna be doing breakdown fights right now. I'm tackling the most controversial fights. And I got a lot more planned for us, but then once we get done with that list, then we're gonna go tackle any fight you guys can put in the comments on my Instagram, DM me, be like, hey, let's do this fight. Let's do that fight. I'll be happy to break it down. But until next time, guys, thanks for being with me. I'll see you guys next time. This is El Castigador. I'm checking out now. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, click the button right here to subscribe if you want. To check out more of my videos, click here and here to click on my um, playlist and other videos that I have. But until next time, guys, I will see you. This is El Castigador. I'm checking out now. See you.